Welcome back. This is Pathless. Last time we got this little bird friend. He, he kind of likes hopping away from me. I'm trying to stay out of the way. He also likes perching on things nearby. Well, we've been tasked with uh, killing a god slayer who wants to become a god. Officially terrible thing to put on your resume. And uh, we have some beautiful movement and uh, uh, I think a somewhat open world to explore. Let's get it done. This guy doesn't know how this works, probably. Maybe he tripped. Mm-hmm. Yep. Sort of figured that was going to be the case. Got some puzzle solving to do. Do I get a new toy? I have a needle, but I'm not sure what I can do with it yet. The needle seems really smart. It may have been a spirit mother at some point. We're not sure yet. Oh, wow. You are a strong freaking eagle. I don't know if I could have even lifted that. Okay. Go ahead and drop it right there. Thank you. That's a dead man that you're sitting on. And a wall that you phased through. Very well. Oh. He just wants to walk next to me. It's like, uh, now that I've learned the lesson, I have to find two things. Hmm. I see. Can I shoot through this? No. I'm not just missing, am I? I don't think so. Can I stand here and tell him to go fetch that? Can I shoot it and then land on it? Hmm, I jumped too high for that. Let's see if we can find something else. I mean, you can phase through walls. You're literally in there. But oh, we should probably go here first. Huh? Can I help? Can I pick one up? Hmm, looks like no. Gotta leave all of the manual labor to the eagle that can somehow carry this by himself. Okay, drop one there. And head back up for the other one. The eagle is absolutely adorable. Ooh, long distance grab. Very nice. Go ahead and put down. Thank you. This place is getting kind of smoky. Ooh. He doesn't like that. I don't blame him. Well, it's kind of like the, the one that murdered him, so. Oh, yep. He doesn't even want me to get close to it. Okay. Let's see if we can make this less spooky. Maybe by walking through walls. It's okay. It wasn't real. It was just a light switch. I like that I don't really have to micromanage him. I can just be like, hey, could you get that? Bring it over here. He's also very accurately bringing the thing to me. So this looks like there's a map of the world, and whatever that is coming down from above is it's almost like descending from the heavens. You are here, pilgrim. Really? The forest plateau? The domain of Cernos? Oh, so this is where these things are. So I'm actually here, and this is just the label. And then we have three domains up here, followed by a fourth one at the top, the domain of Kumo. 
I'm betting you money that we have to complete each of these three domains before we can get up to this fourth one. And the fourth one is going to lead to a volcano. Interesting. Um, but also to this. And then once we're up here, we're going to be able to make the jump up to Nest of the Eagle Mother. Oh, he stole her nest. I see. Someone stole that skeleton's clothes. Or a man died here naked. Or he's been dead for a very long time. Oh, I can glide. I can glide pretty fast. This game is all about movement after all. I don't mind the puzzles. Zelda is one of my favorite games after all. Couldn't be one of my favorite games if I didn't mind a puzzle or two. Oh, you know what? You're going to have to drop that because you and your strong arms are going to have to carry me instead. But once I get across here, can you go fetch that back for me? Thank you. You are... Honestly, I actually could not do this without you. He really does track where he's supposed to be putting those really well, though. I appreciate it. Not as much finicking as you would expect. An updraft. And I have an ability that glide. Well, we all know how this ends. Couldn't you have just made this updraft earlier? It looks like it's coming from your room. Also looks like... I don't know if I want to try it, but... It sort of looks like there's a couple places down there I could go. Uh, that's the moment when they show you the whole map and show you that, oh, you've actually just been in the tutorial area the entire time. This is the real map. What a beautiful, beautiful view. We already have a few glowing things attracting our attention in the distance. I don't actually have control over my character right now, so don't worry, I can't miss the landing. Can I fire? Well, ooh, that's how we do some of this. Got it. This makes sense. I didn't do that right. I think you all noticed, though. This is going to take some practice. It's sort of uh, a couple buttons all at once sort of thing. Kind of feels like a wonky double jump. Let's time it a little bit better this time. Now you can officially play the Flourish Lava. Just never touch the ground. More of these things that I got earlier. Got some of these from that lantern. Now that I have a full one, you can flap while gliding. Collect more crystals to be able to flap additional times in the air. Oh, so it's, um... Oh, wow, that is... You said flap, and I was imagining something very different than that. That is a full-on double jump. Very nice. It reminds me a lot of Journey, to be honest. Um, Journey had a lot of mechanics that were like this. Um, its main mechanic of upgrades and everything was... Does it refresh? No. Um, its main mechanics of upgrades was the Dare Launder Scarf, which let you basically fly, sort of? Just like glide flight. And uh, as you found more secrets, you got more pieces of your scarf. They weren't like, required in order to beat the game. But it was, you know, about the journey. Your own decision of how much of this you were going to do. OK, 
Okay, but I do need to land. Because if I don't land, I don't get my... So that's going to be uh, an interesting micromanage of flying and landing to make sure that we get our double jump back. Looks like we are officially out into the open world. Given the opportunity to seek out whatever direction we want to seek out. Is it going to give us... So yeah, looks like there's... Scary looking totems. And... That. Once again, I am struck by the beautiful design of this game. They were really going for a particular aesthetic, and I feel like they've they've nailed it. Oh dear. What's this? You want me to jump off a cliff? Oh, look at that. That is... Quite the distance. And I don't know if you can see it, but right above my head, there's another one of those eyes there. And there's another one all the way up there, which means that I would need quite a few flaps from my little friend here in order to be able to make that distance. I can tell you for a fact that we're not making it right now. Go ahead and get some stamina back. Get some movement speed. Oh, I did that without even meaning to. Is this a, um, there was a Greek myth about a guy who did this, but he shot through a whole bunch of, uh, axes. Did I not do all three? Oh, I'm missing one. I see. There's one in here. So I need to figure out how to open that. This lodging may serve as a resting place to all pilgrims who have come from a faraway land to worship Cernos. Give thanks to their gifts around the land. Then rest your head here. How kind. There is an eye in the wall. It's a little strange. Aha! Switches up here. Very organic little puzzle. Let me guess that guy was telling us how we were supposed to be doing this. Cursed beast is not Sandos. It cannot be. It is fiery, abhorrent, cruel. It crushed this hostel like paper. The tall one I spent my life worshipping never contained such cruelty. No, no, it really wasn't him. You're right. You could uh, bring that over here. I'm not going to speak out of turn, but I feel like it was Theseus that did this. No, no, I want to lock onto that one. There you go. Hmm. Can I lock onto the last one? There we go. Just had to fight the, find the right angle. So that gave me another one of those eagle talismans so that I can purify.
Hello, dear. Just jumped off the cliff, but that's okay. Beautiful run up the mountain. Anything up here? Looks like possibly no. Just got an achievement for that. Also, we have a giant wall of fire question mark coming at us. Oh man. He just took my bird away. That was my friend. Don't move in the lights. Oh, I see. I need my friend back. Ooh. Show run right now. Yes, yes, I'm coming, I'm coming. I hear you crying. Don't worry. So I can be in the light, but just... Don't move while the light is on me. He's gonna spin around, isn't he? Right at the end. Spin around and look directly at me. No, guess not. Bird. You know, I appreciate you. Pet eagle. That's a good screenshot. I'll go ahead and uh, just, just wipe the rust off again. Nice bonding experience with you, your pet eagle. Gonna have to figure out how to optimize that. Do it a little faster in the future. Is this where we were before? It doesn't feel like it. There's something up on that tree there. Or flappy juice. This is the last step in something. Oh! Eagle is a way to find secrets without having to land. That's really useful. Kinda gives me a bird's eye view. I had to. So this is one. Oh. I get it. This will be two. Yep. Game's going to feel even better as you get more and more of these flaps, as it were. The movement potential is crazy. Another uh, Theseus challenge. First try. Let's go.
The shrine of the Edo Mother welcomes you. Rest here and let the wind wind of her wing beats ease your mind. Movement in this game is truly something else. Oh. Oh my. Okay, good, good, good. Where are we shooting to, though? There's more of those arrow holes. And for a second, I thought I was going to have to do it midair. Okay, so this was only requires one. This kind of seems like this was supposed to be the tutorial for the arrow holes, but uh, I skipped right to it. that. Looks like a chest. Goes in that way. Secret chest. But it's okay. We have secret power. Or flappy juice. I can't get over how adorable the eagle is, just bouncing along beside you. Just trying to... He could hang out on your shoulder. He totally could. But he chooses not to. Mm. Do we need another... One of those? So I would have to shoot through that. What did that do? Did that do something over here? No. I'm not 100% sure what this one does. Oh, it turns it. So we definitely need two. It's interesting that there's not a second one in the room with it, though. Unless I'm just straight up missing it. Be unfortunate if I am. Get some stamina back. Oh, hey, look. There is more of these. So that's two. Three. There's one. There's one. There's one. Careful not to poke them. Two. That looks like four. Three. Shoot an ice, we can run. Four. And five. Very nice. Okay. Back to the puzzle at hand. So what if we... bring this up here? Hmm, where did you even put that? Oh, right down there. Come on, I believe in you. Good job. Yeah, but it takes us over there at this point. Oh. <laughs> I'm stupid. I am the second weight. Of course I am. That arrow... Kind of had the archer's paradox to, to the extreme there. Spun around. I'm going to take this with me, but only for a moment. Just in case I need it. I don't think I do.
Nice. Keep trying to run. I don't have any stamina. There we go. Once you get addicted to the speed, it's hard to slow down. Another one. So it looks like I'm going to have to raise these in sequence in order to, uh... Yep. There's the first one, but I gotta raise the next couple. I hoping I could cheese it a little bit and, uh, like, shoot it while I was falling. That only raises it halfway. I assume this raises it the other half. Yep. Don't tell me I need to drag that lump all the way over from the other side. That closes pretty quickly. Even if I were to release an arrow and fall. Yeah, the arrow f goes faster than I do. Let's look around for a moment. Let's really look around for a moment. Use our sights beyond sight. Well, there's a staircase in the back here. Always something. By the moon's light, the elk sows the seed of the forest. So they're sort of like nature's guardians. Oh, it also changed color to let me know that I had already done that one. Appreciate. Hmm, so I'm going to need an even another one up there. Can I get these real quick? Okay, do that. Come on, come down a little bit. There we go. Aha! All through here, and we have our first. Wait. Calls up again. My brethren fled this great monastery, and I do not begrudge them. But I cannot bring myself to leave this place. If the great elk does not see fit to save me, perhaps I'm not worthy of being saved. You try to save yourself, brother. Now we just need to find another weight. Or maybe two more. Not 100% sure on that. There is a very shiny crystal in there, though. Hmm, I see. So we do just need one more weight for now. Technically, we do actually have one. I'm just not sure if they actually want us to go all the way back there to find it. That one's blue, so we don't have to talk to them again. What happens if we do this up here? Aha! That is the other way. I didn't want to do that. Fortunately, our friend here can provide a little bit of a shortcut and then tell him to go get it and bring it up here. I am so thankful that you were so incredibly strong. Okay, now go fetch that one. And halfway here, drop it. Good. And then bring this one down as well. Easy peasy. Satisfying, though. Oh, it tells me where to stand. Oh, well, that's new. 
I have completed the puzzle of the monastery. Not sure if you can see my Steam achievements. Oh, that is just an absolute ton of flappy juice. Got it. So that was optional? Question mark? rewarded for climbing things. I was just about to say that this is probably useless to climb this like this, but um, I like climbing things. That's why Breath of the Wild and uh, Tears of the Kingdom have become some of my favorite games. Except those dang Koroks. Not a fan of those. It's the most unsatisfying thing ever to get to the top of a mountain and be like, wow, this is amazing. It'd be so amazing if there was a chest up here. But no, just one of 99 Koroks who are essentially pointless. Yeah, sure, they have a value, but it's not a great value, and I don't like them. For generations, we sought out peace in these gardens. So foolish. I have known peace and I have known chaos. Only through chaos, glorious chaos, can true, impactful change be made. I am ready for the world the God Slayer will bring from this chaos. Looks like you weren't... Oh... <laughs> That is hilarious. Uh, looks like he was cutting down a tree to maybe help the uh, God Slayer, and the tree decided, you might be ready for the world that comes from the chaos, but the world that comes from chaos isn't ready for you. As the world burns and the land starves, I can still find peace in my own thoughts in this meditation garden. If I perish now, I perish in serenity. I am safe inside my own head. It's a good sentiment, I suppose. It looks like, um, that tower. Oh, I see. A symbol appears next to it. Also, I really want to shoot that one. I don't know why. Just did. Okay. Looks like we have a lot of the purification essence going. Looks like this might be one of the first shrines we can purify. We could go ahead and start actually doing some of that. Also, that looks like an updraft. Ooh, you almost got me. Almost missed it. Oop, oop, there was another one. There was another one. Go back down. Ow. We almost have another flap. More flaps. Hmm, that's interesting. We have to go and find two things and bring them back. Well, there's one right here. Oh, I see. So we're going to have to be able to get up here on our own. Can be done. It can still be done. Okay, so what we're going to do is a uh, hook shot off of one of these guys. Get a bunch of speed, and then do it again in the air. And almost overshoot. Okay. And, hey, the bird pretty much jumped up. Can I just be the second wait? I can. Good. Because I wasn't sure how I was going to be able to find a second wait. We have a bunch of these purification tablets now, so that looks like that's the closest pillar. Let's see pillars. 
our challenge. Oh, look at that. That's a secret. Oh, I'm not sure if you guys saw that. You can fire at the halfway point for a critical. Oh, look at that. That is so much faster. I see. That's going to change some things. Beautiful view. I enjoyed the ring too. First gear tablet of many. I wonder if the deer is going to give us a power, sort of like the birds giving us a power. Well, I suppose we might find out next time. This has been Pathless, and I'm Arima. This game is really cool. I look forward to beating it. Hope you have a nice night.